subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Buried somewhere inside Mimi is a moving story about parenting and what it takes to love and raise a child. But before we get there, which is in the last 15 minutes or so, we have to endure over two hours of a simpering, poorly written dramedy about a 25-year-old woman in Rajasthan who agrees to become a surrogate mother so that she can fund her dream to become a Bollywood heroine. Mimi is introduced to us with a dance number. The lyrics of the song goes, Bika neri chokri santre ki tokri. An American couple, Summer and John, watch her and decide that a healthy, lithe girl like Mimi would be the perfect vessel to carry their child. Their driver, Bhanu, brokers the deal. Mimi lies to her parents that she's going to shoot a film when in reality she moves into the home of her close friend, Shama. She plans to deliver the baby, get the money and then move to Mumbai. But at some point, Summer and John get cold feet and abandon Mimi and their child. Mimi is a remake of the national award-winning 2011 Marathi film, Mala Ai Vai Che. It's been adapted in Hindi by director Lakshman Utekar, who co-wrote it with Rohan Shankar. Lakshman earlier made Luka Chupi, which also had Kriti Sanan in the lead. I haven't seen the original, but Lakshman and Rohan construct a screenplay in which the biggest ambition is to cushion the complexities of surrogacy with breezy comedy. Even in emotionally charged situations like Mimi's parents discovering that their daughter lied to them, there is an attempt at delivering laughs mainly through the character of Bhanu, who goes along with Mimi's lie that he is the father. But for these switches in tonality to be seamless, the writing and performances needed to have more depth and nuance. A film that managed to combine thorny issues with a light touch is Jude Anthony Joseph's Saras, also about a young woman grappling with pregnancy. She goes against the wishes of her family and her husband and decides not to have a baby because she wants to be a filmmaker. In a country in which motherhood is accorded celestial status, this is a tough story to sell. But Jude and his leading lady, the superb Anna Ben, make a persuasive argument for a woman making her own choices. In contrast, Mimi completely sidesteps these polarizing questions. When Mimi's baby is born, her dreams are abandoned without a debate. In one scene, Mimi's mother tells her, Devki bhitu yashoda bhitu. And here's what I found even more problematic. Mimi delivers a baby boy with fair skin and blue eyes, which causes crowds to gather outside their house. Bhanu becomes a local star with random men accosting him to ask how he managed to father such a fair child. The grandparents also fall in love instantly. The film is attempting to showcase our colour bias, but it also ends up bolstering it. Would the family be so fawning if the child were less beautiful? Or if the child had been born differently abled, as a doctor says it might have been? Again, Mimi doesn't want to go into these darker spaces. Mimi is content to operate at a simplistic, superficial level. Lakshman puts together a roster of terrific actors. Pankaj Tripathi, Supriya Pathak, Manoj Pawa and Saita Mankar. But he doesn't give them enough to do. As usual, Pankaj is the best thing in the movie, working hard to infuse life and layers into Bhanu. But Mimi rests on Kriti's shoulders. She also works hard, putting on weight, working with a Rajasthani accent. In the climax, she's able to summon a wellspring of emotion, but largely her efforts are undermined by the script and her own inability to let go of synthetic Bollywood glamour. Even when Mimi is screaming in pain in childbirth, her lipstick is in place. Which sums up perfectly the trouble with this film, the lack of believability. You can see Mimi on Netflix India and Geo. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to check out our website filmcompanion.in.